Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Hearts of Iron 4, continuing on with my Nova Roma playthrough. Now, currently I have two ongoing operations, one down here in Africa, which is going pretty well. We managed to push our way all the way down here, and my troops are continuing to do so, and we're not too far away from capturing uh, some rubber resources, which I definitely need, as that is the one thing I am short of right now. Although I'm working to remedy that by also building refineries. But there's some rubber here, so that's good. We're not far away from capturing it. Now, there was a naval invasion that the uh, enemy attempted here. But they didn't manage to capture a port. And I'm currently uh, pretty much going to wipe them out. They don't have anywhere to go, so these guys are going to get defeated and wiped out. And the second operation I have was an attempt to... Uh, capture the islands that the Allies have a hold of in the Mediterranean to shut out the uh, Allies' naval fleets. Unfortunately, I didn't expect quite so many divisions to be in Cyprus where I was attacking. Uh, as a matter of fact, right now it's 12. It was, I think, somewhere around 15. Now, there are some enemy divisions that uh, have been fleeing the island, but I have my fleet active in this whole area, so I've been catching... Uh, some of their transports. So I said there was something around 15 or so divisions in there initially. And you can see even a Canadian division is leaving right now. Uh, and I've already ca caught like maybe two or three uh, transports that I'm fairly certain were troop transports. So we did wipe out the uh, division that was being carried by those convoys. All right, well, uh, to start things off, I'm going to need to uh, pick another national focus. Now, I did prospect for oil, and I do have another one of those. It's not for... Oh, it looks like it actually gives me some synthetic refineries, too. So that's actually uh, especially good. So not only does it give me uh, four oil, but it also gives me two synthetic refineries. So I'm definitely going to do that. And I guess that's pretty much it for now. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this every so often. Also, I need to check on all the different uh, naval invasion targets. And just making sure that those don't get out of hand. This is another area. The enemy did attempt to attack me here, but uh, support from my allies uh, prevented them taking this port here from me. Now, the, the uh, front line for this army is a little uh, messed up. I'm hoping it will fix itself once we uh, capture some of this territory and it draws itself all the way over here. I might have to hand draw it myself. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of tempted to do that. The one thing that I, I just not a big fan of is the fact that as far as I know, you can't add on to an existing line. You can only draw another one. So I'm going to have to delete the current line, which is also going to delete the um, offensive plan that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw the line here, which should take care of everything as I need. And then we're going to do the offensive line roughly about how I had it before. Wow, the Belgians have really moved things along. I don't remember this looking quite like it did. But I guess I will just forge through and draw the line something like that. Yeah, I guess that will work. And I'll just tell them to go. They, they should already have some planning taken care of. And they'll just need to be rerouted. All right. It looks like I caught... Oh, a different convoy. I expected the Canadian troops to be caught. Oh, there they are. All right, so my troops are being knocked back so that's good initially i mean i thought about changing the invasion plan over here but the difference is if i lose i'm just getting knocked back into where i came from if i would have gone here i would have been wiped out because my guys would have had nowhere to go so that's unfortunate that i'm gonna lose this but i'm not gonna actually lose the units okay so we have some anti-tank technology researched and that should be everything for 1940, as far as I am aware. So, I could do naval bombers. I'm sure there's a focus that would probably give me uh, a bonus to researching this. But I'm, I don't know how much of a 
thing, uh, how much of a priority I want to give that right now. I do have naval bomber production, so it might be a good idea. Let's just check that really, really quickly. Uh, what is the, before I do that, what is the name of the thing? It's an SM-84. Let's see if there's a focus that deals with that. And so that's carriers, and then we have naval air for, yeah, air effort. Um, I do see the SM-84, but the SM-89 is also part of this. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and research that. Because that's the only other thing for 1940 that I have to do. I could do, like, tanks ahead of time. Um, but I think I'm happier to do this now. Uh, and then we can always do, in 15 days, the tanks. Which will make it less of a ahead of time penalty. Now, speaking of the tanks... Uh, I haven't edited them in a while. And I might want to up the number of medium tanks that we're using, as opposed to light tanks. I, a lot of that depends, because uh, I could research the light tanks first, and then it's not really an issue. And I could use the army experience to upgrade the tank rather than change any of my units around. Which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on light tanks first. All right. My troops, first off, how many of them are 20? Okay, so they just need to get into position. It's kind of hard to get into position in Africa because it's a lot of rough terrain with not very good infrastructure. All right, so these guys are now caught in this area, and if they... Get beat any more. There we go. Wiped him out. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Have this guy go back to the port. Have this guy... Strategically deploy... Over to this port. Because we're going to need to sit on the port. So I'm going to allow this guy to... Capture that territory back. But then I'm going to have... Him come back over and sit on the port. Now, my allies are helping me by sitting on these ports. But I can never really depend upon that. And we did wipe out the Canadian convoy, so for sure that division got knocked out. So, here's another Canadian division. As long as they keep trying... Wow, there's 16 divisions here. So they must have come from somewhere else uh, to fight me off. Alright, well, unfortunately, my tanks are going to get knocked back. Uh, Malta has troops too, and I have no idea how many troops are there, so it's going to be... Um, Oh, well, there, there look like troops coming in, so that could explain. But as long as they're moving troops back and forth, I'm catching them. So I'm wiping troops out. Ever, uh, as long as they're moving troops back and forth, I'm wiping troops out. So <laughs> I'm not really too worried about that, I guess. Speaking of things that uh, I could be doing, um, I don't think I can actually add this guy in, but eventually I'm going to want to grab this submarine to add to the fleet. That might be a good idea, because I'm not actually encountering any ships, to change these guys' mission from search and destroy to patrol. This way they'll catch these guys easier, because they're more dispersed. But there goes another, probably, division. And I only have one tank division still in this fight. Yeah, but they should have more success catching the guys now. Which I obviously want to happen here. Okay, so we just got the encryption. I may have lost... Oh, oh, I was about to say, I might have lost the division. It just got rerouted to a different place. I would like these guys to all be in the same place, because I'm going to re-do uh, the army. As a matter of fact, uh, probably going to have to reassign their commander as well. All right, so I'm just going to send them over to Crete. Alright, so the research I was planning on doing was... Uh, tank research. So, we're going to do the L8 tier. And use our discount. I don't know if we have any more discounts beyond that. Alright. So, they should all be arriving in the same place. 
All right, we're catching the, continuing to catch the convoys, which is good. Um, hmm. Do I attempt a naval invasion on Malta instead and hope? No, I don't want your troops. And no, you're not going to get a non-aggression pact, especially not Hungary. Hungary, I'm going to go after. Okay, we've got a new tank division, which I'm going to add to the blue army. And then I'm going to put that tank division in the last place that is a port over here so that we're nice and covered and the Brits can't invade me. Speaking of invasions, let's just check. Make sure we're good. Okay. Now those tanks, once I uh, have my engagement against the Germans, will probably go into an offensive role. But for now, they're just going to be defensively uh, set up. And then I'm going to create a new army here. And that army is going to get a commander. Now, this was the guy that was the um, tank leader. I think I'm going to give it to the field marshal the job for this army. And you are going to have a front line that is against Hungary. And that is going to be your job. And I'll be adding uh, units to you as time goes on. And what color should I give you? I guess we'll give you this color. Okay. I know that's only three divisions, but we'll be ramping that up eventually. As we recruit more troops. And the idea here is to put pressure on the Germans so that they're not really achieving much else. All right. Now these guys also need to be in an army. And they're going to get their old commander back. And they're going to be red. And... I'm just going to have them come on over to there. And we're going to try and attack on... Malta, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and bring... All of these guys over here. And all of these guys over here. We'll give them new missions. Now, Malta might have fortifications. Let's take a look at that, if it will allow me. Oop, I gotta go into the different view. There we go. Um, No, they don't. Oh, they do have a coastal fort. Okay. A little bit of fortification. Speaking of fortifications, what are the Brits working on? Destroyer focus. Okay, what are the Germans working on? Naval air effort. All right, well, nothing that really concerns me, I think. And it does look like we managed to take out another convoy. So I think those are troops. Every time we take out one of their convoys, those are troops. What I might do for Malta is I might grab all four of these divisions, add them into the Red Army, and have them do a naval invasion as well with the tanks. So we're going to have four uh, infantry divisions and uh, five tanks, so a total of nine divisions. That will probably make it a little bit more likely to succeed. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just grab these guys and have them all strategically deploy over to the port we're going to be using. All right. Oh, you know what? I uh, I need to change some production here. So let's just make sure we're on current tech with everything. So that is correct. Medium tank. Yeah, that's correct. I know the anti-tank is not. That is now correct. I think anti-air was correct. Tactical Bomber, good. Artillery should be good. Yes. Then we have Close Air Support. That is correct. And Fighters, good. All right. Yeah, all right. We're on current tech. Um, but 
that means I just finished a naval vessel. And all that's left for 1940 is a um, battle cruiser. Now, I'm not going to do the... Uh, I'm not going to do the super battleship. I think that's kind of a waste of resources. They'll take forever to produce. I don't really honestly know if I'll do anything with battle cruisers. Oh, submarines. Let's do submarines. I know there's probably a focus that would work uh, for that as well, but we're definitely going to want upgraded submarines. I wish I could uh, add the submarine into my main fleet here. But it doesn't let me because these guys are, like, constantly engaged because they keep finding convoys. I mean, that's a good thing, but... Okay, so you are now good. I'm going to go ahead and send you... Oops. Send you... Over there, so you can keep an eye on that port. All right, my troops are starting to advance. Nobody's captured this stuff over here yet, but I guess it doesn't really particularly matter. Did I get that rubber that I was looking for? Yes, I did. And it looks like I'm getting it. So we only have uh, a rubber shortage of four. And we're working on more refineries. So it looks like we're not going to have a rubber shortage much longer. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. So now it's mostly just a... Uh, Waiting game while we build up the army and attempt to get ourselves prepared for the attack on Germany. But I would not do that attack. Oh, they're actually going to do a naval invasion against me? All right, well, time for me to do a naval invasion against them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Like so, and it should take how many days? Excuse me? Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Oh, also, I need to grab my planes. Tell them to be here. Give them new missions. So we got air support, ground attack, and naval strike. Okay, there it goes. It's working its way now. Okay, took out another convoy. I have no idea how many troops are in Malta, but hopefully we have enough troops to deal with it. You know what, I'm just going to tell this guy to go through here, go there, then go there. Because uh, that bothers me. All right, making good progress. Oh, we got some British ships here. We took them all out, though. Some British destroyers decided to come in. Foolish. All right. My fleet's not currently engaged, so this is that one moment where I can grab these submarines and add them in. No, I'm not going to give you that. All right, so we got a military factory produced. And what do we need? Close air support seems like a big need at the moment. Naval bomber, tactical bombers are not too bad off. I kind of agree. We probably do need more close air support. We also need more anti-air big time. Uh, hmm. 
everything else isn't so bad, I would say, from what I can see. So I'm going to go ahead and put one into close air support. We're going to have a lot more military factories, so I can, I can put them where they're needed. But anti-air definitely need a bunch of that. And these guys are now going to be running into planes as well, bombing them. All right, well. All right, so we got the uh, focus here. How about you guys? I don't know how many divisions they're facing off against, but let's just see. Oh, yeah, just one division. Wipe them out. Okay. National focus. We just got that. We're no longer short of supplies. I don't see a reason why not to do this uh, Libyan infrastructure. Although I don't know how much I really care about, about Libyan infrastructure. I mean, it might help with supplies and stuff, but I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe do this carrier effort and then work through all of this. I'm not going to do jet engines yet, but at least work this uh, way, our way through here or do submarine effort. Well, we're already working on researching submarines, so maybe um, maybe don't care about that necessarily right now. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Carrier effort, naval air, uh, air effort, and so on. On the other hand, if I never got this, would it be that big of a deal? I guess it wouldn't. So I guess we work on the ships then. Submarine effort. Or escort effort. You know, honestly, all of these things are good. Uh, I guess I'll go with submarine effort here. And then we'll do maybe escort effort and so on. Okay. How is this going? Got more than halfway through preparing. I have a little bit more hope that the naval invasion on Malta will work, but we'll have to see. I mean, I'm hoping I don't counter 16, 15 divisions sitting here in Malta. If I do, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but kind of a bummer that we didn't manage to succeed there. All right, we just got decryption. So, we don't really have anything to do until 42 with that. Might be a good idea to start atomic research. That is a huge amount of time that's going to take. I might not actually ever get nukes um, with this, but it, it's such a long time. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we're going to go that route. Instead, it's 41 now, so we might as well start getting uh, all of these things. I just... I didn't realize it was 41 yet, so... Yeah, we might as well get some of these, especially these two, because the production efficiency cap is so important. Uh, as you go through the game and you're upgrading things, you don't have the uh, severe penalties. All right, well... Let's go ahead and take a look at how things are going on in the rest of the world. So China is making gains down here, as is uh, the uh, allies in general. 
making gains in Siam. We just finished our tank, so I'm going to have to do some things here. Yeah, it looks like they're making gains against Japan. So Japan's still getting its ass handed to it. As a matter of fact, it's not in China at all. So Japan's pretty much, I'm going to say, not really too much of a factor in this war. They didn't really accomplish much. They were handed in Indochina. They didn't really ever really conquer it on their own. And it looks like they're going to lose it. And otherwise, there isn't really a whole lot going on. I mean, technically, Germany's at war with Norway, but they haven't made any attempts at it. And I honestly don't know if they ever will succeed in taking Norway. They barely managed to take uh, Denmark as it is. So I guess we'll just focus everything on Africa for now, which actually we're getting quite a bit of resistance now. A lot more than we've had in the past. All right, so then now that you're done, go ahead and go over there. Now, we have a naval invasion queued for North Africa. I think that's unlikely to ever happen. We're only four days away. Still engaging convoys. And luckily, my navy is kind of in the area, so we'll get some support there. Oh, I forgot about the research. And I also am going to need to upgrade things. So I don't have any more of a bonus to uh, tank research. 41, I could do mechanized. A lot of this, I just want to see what is going to be the most efficient thing to do. So 41, we could do improved artillery, which is going to take very little time. And I figure you might as well do things that don't take a whole lot of time if you can. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, that was a mistake. I don't want to do that. I want to do... Um, this. Please focus on this stuff first. Are you sure you want to research uh, instead of uh, uh, four days of previously? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I don't want to waste the saved research. Uh, that was a mistake, um, but the next research I do, um, when that comes, I'll do the industry. That's That would have been the right thing to do. I just forgot about it. In any case... Continue here, and any day now, there we go, ready to go. So, Red Army, you're a go. Let's see what they encounter. We're going to have the air power in the area, ready to bomb. Part of me feels like I should have my tactical bombers in the area, but we'll just let them be. Okay, so... Looks like we have a fair number of divisions in here. Six divisions against our nine. But hopefully we can say, make some ground here. Oh, we just got a factory. And we're still catching convoys, it looks like. Which is good. Alright, so that factory that I just got. Um, Anti-air was definitely a thing that we needed. Let's just look through here. Tactical bombers. Oh, uh, speaking of things, we need to upgrade tanks to the next level. So we'll create a variant of the L8 tank because we have the army experience to do so. And I think what I'm going to do is just do a single upgrade for everything to start. And... Let's think here. I'm going to go with armor, main gun, reliability. Looks like we can safely get two and everything. I'm going to go ahead and take that. So we're going to take two and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. And then we'll produce that. All right. I mean, I do need a lot of infantry equipment, too. You know, that shortage is uh, severe enough that I think I'm going to go for it. And another thing I want to take a look at is we're trading for oil. Is there even a need to do that now? Probably not as much as we're actually trading for. But let me just do that. So we now need three. Okay, so I will go ahead and do that. I mean, I probably 
could build some more refineries to take care of that, but that did give us more civilian factories back, which I think, you know, is a good call. Because it allows us, obviously, to produce things faster. All right, well... Matter of fact, this is probably honestly a good point to put a cut in the video. So, although it says I'm losing here, we're not doing too badly, I think. We've got a fair number of troops. We've got that air superiority bonus as well as a decryption advantage. They are pretty well dug in, so that's going to be a little bit hard. But I think we're not doing too bad. The, the, the Navy will probably support every once in a while. And once we take Malta, that will really help a lot. And then I think the next objective is, is really attempt Cyprus again. We need to capture Cyprus. Uh, I don't know how many of their troops have been lost and they're ferrying troops back and forth, but uh, we've been wiping out a fair number. So hopefully we can continue with that and maybe weaken them enough that we can attempt that invasion again, maybe uh, put some more troops into it. But in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.